This morning we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go beacon bashing and this always produces a few surprises so here we go. I came in at the water early this morning to go and chase some barra, but there's next to no current run. We're in a diurnal phase of our tide where we just get with that one tide change where the tide trickles out all day and then slowly runs back in. But the slow run in the tide means that I can get my lures down to the bottom of these beacons, and these beacons always produce some really good fish. We're hoping for some really good finger mark. Um, you'll get queen fish and maybe even dewies and stuff like that. So I'm fishing really light, so I'm in trouble if I get a dewy, but Let's go and hit some of these beacons and see how we go. That's why you go beacon bashing. How good is that? It's a cracking finger mark. Yep. drive away from this beacon with this fish, it's... No. And that's exactly what we're after. Look at that. That's a massive finger mark. Mate, I say massive because we're in an estuary. <laughs> they do get bigger, but... <laughs> As you could imagine, <laughs> I'm very happy with that beast. Once again on the light gear, I throw the heavy stuff and they don't take it, the finger mark anyway. And then I'll put the light one in. It's been a, it's been a long day, I've been out a few hours. <laughs> the weather's changed only five or six times, but the current's starting to run a little bit harder now, so it's been a little bit harder to fish, but uh, God, I'm happy with that. That's a cracking fish. Make sure I don't 
I get some food. Come here. That's a cracking fish. So this thing, this thumping of the tail, <laughs> it feels like a really big trevally. So <laughs> he's staying down really deep, but it's a big fish on such light gear. So <laughs> if I can get him up, that you can see that thump, thump, thump. That's the way the trevally swim, and they'll they'll stay deep and they'll stay under the boat. So I'll put money on it being a good trevally. At this stage of the fight, what I need to do is cause this trevally is just directly under the boat and the weight of the fish is heavier than the weight of the line, he can sit there and catch his breath. So I'm going to drive off him so he's got to fight at a 45 degree angle or greater to the fishing line, which is going to wear him out and bring him up to the boat quicker. So, seems silly, but we're driving away. Get him swimming against that boat and get that line on that angle again. Get him tied. I can't believe I've got this fish in a river. In a river? Are you kidding me? I'm running out of options. The other thing I can do is go right down the middle of the channel here, so I'm in eight. Yeah, eight metres of water. And drive that way and get him into some shallow stuff so he can't sit behind the boat like that is what I'm going to do. Start heading towards some shallower water. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, I got him. Oh. Oh yeah, <laughs> just have a look at that, <laughs> look at you, well that's got to be the best trevally I've caught on such light gear by a mile, that thing weighs a ton <laughs> and we persisted and landed him, oh god, it's been about an hour, <laughs> an epic battle. <laughs> And lucky to get him because even though this is a heavy gauge hook <laughs> on only eight pound line, just the length of that battle just slowly started to straighten that hook a little bit. But uh, oh. I drive past all the beacons and with my side scanner I have a look to see what fish are down there and a couple of the beacons I've pulled up to it's got no fish on them, no bait, no fish or anything but that beacon had one single big fish just sitting on the base of it and <laughs> this is it so I've got him on the light gear so we'll take our time and see what he is feels like another big trevally actually 
The rock keeps thumping. Get two in one day, be pretty special. <laughs> been half an hour or so in the fight already and it's not, I haven't even seen it yet what you can see in the background there I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not but that's the boat ramp so I'm right in the middle of Weeper the one I hooked this morning he was towards where the Amberley and the hay meet. So he was upstream a bit. So this guy. I've been working my way back towards the boat ramp because it's getting late. Ah, I'm gonna have to drive up him again. What I had to do this morning was run into real shallow water. I might have to do the same with this guy, but shallow water, to my right, it's got rocks all over it, so I'm not going to run in there. And I'm about a kilometre from the other side of the river. Just drag out a bit and let him get that angle on the line. I don't drive off and get into some shallow water, I will never land this fish. That's another reason why I, I spool. This is the Alvi Orbiter SR60, it's only a tiny reel but I managed to get about 200 meters of fishing line on it. So I don't put any backing or anything on these reels when I'm doing this sort of stuff because I'll need every bit of that 200 meters. I probably won't need 200 meters, that's a bit ridiculous, but I'll certainly use a lot of it. It's a, I can't make out whether it's a GT or a big golden. It looks like it could be a big golden actually, which explains why it's fine harder than the one this morning because uh, the Golden Trevally just fights so hard. But the good thing about Golden Trevally, they've got big rubbery lips. So the leader doesn't rub on anything too hard and the hook sinks in there pretty deep. Look at that little lure. <laughs> Didn't even get him in the mouth, got him under the chin. Get that out, mate. Look at that. That is a massive golden trevally. <laughs> oh, what an epic battle. What a great fish. Mate, I'll let you go.